Hi, Stuart here from Maps Playground, and today I have quite an exciting app to talk to you about. Uh, as you can probably see from what's on screen, uh, this is an app based on a popular sci-fi TV series here in the UK and worldwide. But if you need any more of a clue, I shall play some music from it. That's right, it's Doctor Who. So this is Doctor Who comic creator. Um, which came out uh, a little while ago. It's available for iPhone, iPad and Android. And it is um, an app for making comics based on Doctor Who, as the name tells you very well, um, and also reading them. So I'm going to take you through it um, a bit at a time. We'll start with the comic reader so you can see how these comics work. These are comics designed to be used on a, a screen. Um, so you actually get one with the app. Um, a brand new episode called A Stitch in Time, um, which has been designed by the BBC. And as you can see, you go forward by swiping through the story. And the idea of reading this is obviously you get a new Doctor Who story, but you can kind of see what you can create in the creative bit. Um, so everything here you can make yourself. So it's very smooth. It's designed for children, this app, I think. So the story is quite simple, nothing too scary. Um, all good fun. So the meat of it, obviously, is in the creator mode. Um, so the way it works is you can create a... So i a new one. Call it uh, the Doctor. That's not... The Doctor. The keyboard is a bit annoying, I will say that. Is it going to stop me before the end? No, the Doctor and the Beasts. Uh, so, pick a comment page, hit the plus, and you can choose what goes on. Now, obviously here you can see there are uh, going from left to right along the bottom of the screen, uh, backgrounds, Doctors, characters, uh, scenery, items, speech bubbles, and then sounds, which is the waveforms. So I'm going to pick a doctor, I think. Now, as you can see, I've got the basic version of the game, which is free. Um, the things that are locked, you have to buy. So it uses in-app purchases. So I can use um, the, the latest doctor or the last doctor, um, Peter Capaldi or Matt Smith. Everything else there is locked and I have to buy it, so I'll show you that in a little while. But just to show you how it works first, I'm going to tap on Matt Smith, choose this one, and then you can move him around the screen, make him as big as you like. And edit my comic. So I'll choose a good background, I think. I'm going to put him against uh, a swirly background. And that's my cover, my comic. So it's very easy to use. Basically, every page works the same. So when you get into the comics, you can choose how it's laid out. And these are all different pages you can have. Um, so if you've grown up with comics, you'll have an idea of which ones you want. So you choose your page, choose your panel, hit the plus, and build it as before. So you could start off in the TARDIS, choose a character. Now, these are all the doctors. If you go along, you can see the companions. If you go along, you can see various uh, monsters. So I'm going to choose Clara. And you can choose different um, positions, expressions, what they're doing. So I'm going to choose her very relaxed. And put her down there. And then we ought to have a doctor, really, shouldn't we? So I shall pick the latest doctor. He can be standing there too, looking slightly more worried. Now these tools at the bottom you can see, um, they can flip him sideways or even upside down. And then we probably need a speech bubble. So here we go. Different types of speech bubble. And again with these you can flip them on who's saying them and then hit the T button type in text and 
Now, I would quite like it to be the normal keyboard for this. But you'll get used to it. Your kids will. And there's your thing. So you carry on like this, basically. Adding in different backgrounds, different characters, different scenery. And people. So this is definitely not a good scene for Doctor. We'll have this character who for proper fans will be able to tell you who that is. I have no idea. I didn't see that episode. They didn't look very happy though. So yes, so it's very easy and it, it's it's one of those ones where if you if you've read comics, if your child has read comics, they'll get the hang of it straight away. Even if they haven't, it's very easy and there is a, a tutorial that takes you through it as well. Um, which I've obviously completed already. Boo. There's a reason why I'm not a Doctor Who scriptwriter. And so on. So you can create your comic and then you can go back. And then the Doctor and the Beast, it's a comic there. Now I can now go back and whenever I want to read it, I can read my comic in the reader zone. And then here we go. And it will swoop through my different things like that. So it's very easy, lots of fun you can have. Now I did say about the um, buying things. So this is free um, to download and use. There aren't that many characters, there's a few. And it basically makes sure you're the parent before you want to buy something. Although if your kids can do simple maths, then they won't find that much of a trouble. But then there is a store, which is just connecting. So it will download just all these things. This means they will change over time. And you can see here, you get you can get packs for one pound forty nine each, um, or you can buy them both for two pound twenty nine. Um, and the 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 idea I think is they're going to add new packs every so often, so you have new characters, new monsters, new aliens. So here is pack two, eleventh Doctor, Amy Rory and his companion, Weeping Angels, Evil Snowmen and so on. So you can basically, um, as a parent, you can kind of buy, spend £2.29 and unlock everything there is in the app at the moment. So it's not constantly badgering your kids um, to have to buy things. Now there are other elements to this that are fun. There are fact files. And again, these are unlocked as you buy the packs. So for the moment, you can just read about the 12th Doctor. And it's kind of short and sharp and you know, just a bit of summary text. Clara as well um, and you can get the monster maker now this is probably one of the funnest things I think if you are a child again you get parts when you unlock things so you've only got a few to choose from but if you start with a Dalek head and then we'll have a slightly strange combination of a, <laughs> a human woman's body um, who's presumably one of the monsters and then uh, tentacle arms again this is the reason why I'm not employed as Doctor Who monster designer so here we go and then I think we should probably have some great big clumpy moon boots and that's well it's beautiful isn't it uh, and I save it that's my monster now the good thing here is when I'm making my comics I can introduce my monster I can now sidle on stage left a menace a doctor so there's kind of scope in here 
for um, creativity for kids. They can actually make up their own monsters um, as well, um, which is good fun. So this is Doctor Who Comic Creator. It's available for iOS and Android, free to download and try. Um, you'll probably want to spend at least £1.49 on the packs to get some more stuff. And I think it's really good fun. I think for fans of Doctor Who, for young fans of Doctor Who, and for still parents fans as well, it's a good, it's not just a kind of game to play, it's a bit of creativity, a bit of imagination, a bit of storytelling um, with some of your kids' favourite characters and monsters. Um, so give it a try, let us know what you think, post a comment, and if you like reviews of kids' apps and vlogs about parenting and digital stuff, then you can subscribe to this channel, there should be a button somewhere around me, uh, around this video, and stay tuned for more reviews in the coming days, weeks and months.